Hi there, 12 volt Tom. I'm going to show you the Sun and Home machine, and I'm also going to show you the process for resizing rods. I won't show you the whole process in this short video, but I have pictures I will add to the video. So if you come on over here, we'll show you how it's done. So this is a, a Sun and Honing machine, it's, it can hone many things, closed holes, open holes, connecting rods. It's got a nice gauge on it here for measuring. And uh, so we measure the out of round on a rod. And this one is still out of round. You can see that on the gauge. And you can see there. So we're two thousandths out of round. I've actually honed on this rod a little bit. And uh, I, I've put new bolts in it. I've shot peened it. I started honing on it. So to set that gauge up, use a micrometer. I look up the specs for the rod. And in this case, it's 2.125. And I set the micrometer up. And then I set the gauge to that. And you can see it zeroes at the point where I have a set. So what we do with the rods then is we're going to cut on them until this measurement, which is not changing for us, this one did change because we cut a little bit off the caps and off the rod, brought them a little bit closer together, so it tightened up the hole, but now we have to open that hole back up. This does this for us. It has an adjustable stone. The stone goes in and out. It has guide shoes on the back that don't uh, let you wear out the mandrel and, and slide easy on the rods. So I'm going to hone these until they're dead nut zero. I will stop and then I have to let the rods cool down because they swell as we hone on them and that changes the measurements. So I'm just going to hone a little bit and this is to show you that the machine works really well. So we have oil comes in and lubricates the honing process for us. And you can see that this machine, as far as the machine goes, it is for sale and I'm just going to show you it operates really nice. So anyway, we use the foot pedal down here and we start home. Now I'm going to just check because the metal actually comes off pretty fast. So I'm going to reverse these and hone some more. I can actually feel a little bit of heat in the rod. Not much, just a little bit though. almost there. 
So anyway, I keep alternating these. I'm going to cut that one rod by itself a little bit. I'm going to let that one cool off. A little bit. Just a little bit more on that one. And it's going to be a little bit more yet. one's going to cool down and you'll see the gap close back down on it. I'm going to check this one again. So I'm going to open this one up a little farther. So what I will do is let those cool down and then they'll close up the size on them. And I bet they close up exactly where they need to be. Anyway, that's a, a short tutorial on the honing process for the rods and I'll fill in the video with pictures. Talk to you later. Bye.